parasternal short axis view the probe remains at the same place the only thing it gets rotated from 11 o'clock it will rotate to 1 o'clock and hence the heart which was initially in parasternal long axis view was cut longitudinally now it was it will be cut into short short axis so that's why it is known as parasternal short axis view so this is again to see the various parts of lv and it starts from the root of the aorta that is the base of the heart from where the aorta starts let's see how how we keep the probe in this you can see the probe marker which was facing at 11 o'clock position that is towards the right shoulder now it is being rotated same place at the nipple line on the left of the para of the sternum now the pointer probe pointer which was 11 o'clock position now it's facing towards the 1 o'clock position so it is right angle to that probe orientation marker is still up here on the screen the heart which was being cut longitudinally now is being cut in short axis in cross section and this we start with the root of the aorta at the base and you can see this aortic root in here you can see the three cusp of the aortic valve it is tricuspid valve tricus three cusp so it is it looks like a mercedes benz sign so that's why it is known as mercedes benz sign view here this is the pulmonary artery this is the pulmonary valve this is your rv from where the pulmonary artery is originating below that is your ra right atrium and in between you have the tricuspid valve so in this ra along with that you have this la left atrium and in between you have the interatrial septum so this is your first section first cut of the short axis view like this the heart is being cut cross sectionally at the base from where the aortic root starts and this is your tricuspid three cusp of the aortic valve and hence it is known as mercedes benz sign view then we sweep this probe from the base of the heart towards the apex from the base from where this aorta is going to start from here we move towards the apex so this these are the sweeps so you just imagine yourself as an rbc and you have to travel through the left ventricle so you start with the base of the heart where this root of aorta was there what we call as mercedes benz sign view so the next point of entry into lv from that will be your mitral valve so next view will be your mitral valve see from here i am sweeping down towards the apex sweeping down towards the apex from here that is the base of that sweeping down towards the apex this is what you will see so this is known as fish mouth view this is a mitral valve which looks like opening and closing of the fish mouth so this is your lv interventricular septum this is your rv and this is your mitral valve so this is your fish mouth view so next we sweep further down from mitral valve if we move towards the apex what you will see is the papillary muscles so this is your papillary muscle view next we will move more towards the apex so in the end what we will see is the rv the rv is gone and the apex is being formed by the lv this is normal because if lv is not forming the apex then it means it means there is a hypoplastic left heart syndrome so the rv is forming the apex or the rv is so much dilated that it has wrapped the lv so in these two conditions lv will not be the apex forming chamber but rest of the rest of the conditions the apex forming chamber will be lv 